Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Ultimate Windows Tweaker. This has got to be the best tweaking program you can get for Windows 10. To get this tweaker all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom until you come across Download Ultimate Windows Tweaker. You now need to click on this button and you need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading we can now drag this across to our desktop and right click on it and go extract tool and then go extract. Once it has finished extracting you will now end up with a folder that looks like this. You now need to go into the ultimate windows tweaker folder and run the ultimate windows tweaker.exe. I do recommend right clicking on it and going run as administrator and also for a lot of these tweaks to work you will need to be on a administrator account. It will now create a restore point for you. You just need to press OK. And let's just confirm that window there and press OK. It successfully created a restore point. And this is what the tweaker looks like. Straight away, as you can see, it has our system information, giving us a bit of detail about our machine. If we go across to customization, we now have lots of options in here we can customize for Windows 10. We also have a lot of options for our taskbar, our file explorer, our universal UI and this PC. If we go back to the left hand side menu now and go to user accounts, we can do a lot of tweaks on our user accounts. We can then go across to performance and we can improve the speed of our machine. For example here, waiting time to kill applications timeout during the shutdown. Basically you can turn that up and then it will shut down applications straight away and turn your computer off. Instead of it taking a little while and having a delay there. If we go back to the left hand side again, we have security and privacy, we have a huge list of security settings we can change, and we have a huge list of privacy settings we can change. If we go back to the left hand side menu again, we have our Internet Explorer. I personally don't use Internet Explorer, so these settings don't really appeal to me. But if you do like using Internet Explorer, then I'm sure there's going to be a lot of settings in here you will find helpful. We now have our context menu, which is basically when you right click on your desktop, you have your menu. You also, oh there it is, sorry, your desktop context menu, and this is Universal Apps. We have desktop context menu 2 and other context menus there. We then have our additional tweaks. As you can see in here, use autoplay for all media and devices. Basically that means when you plug in a USB stick or put a CD in or whatever, it will pop up with the autoplay list. You can turn that off if you want. You can enable the network adapter onboard processor. You can disable default admin and disk drive share server. The, the list just goes on with the tweaks in this program. Once you have finished selecting the tweaks you would like to do, then go apply tweaks. And if you do encounter any errors, then you can always do a restore point or you can try pressing the restore defaults. But I do highly recommend when you make a tweak, for example, if I go in customization, do your tweak in this section, press apply. Give it a go, make sure the tweak's all okay and you're happy with it. And then move on to user accounts, do a couple of tweaks and then press apply. Just do everything in stages. Don't just go through, do like a hundred tweaks and then press tweak and then restart your computer because you might end up doing something that you don't quite like and you won't remember which tweak it was you ticked or adjusted. And that is pretty much it for the Ultimate Windows Tweaker. I do definitely recommend you give it a try, especially if, like me, you like to tweak around with your Windows operating systems. And yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.